What's up guys, it's Tuesday. It's the amateur here with Escape Your Cubicle. Um, going on an Uber pickup right now. So yeah, yesterday, um, which was Monday, the total that uh, I got for the day was actually $128. A late tip came in late in the evening after I was done for the day. Uh, the app lets people tip later on. You don't have to tip right when your ride's over. If, if you're going to tip the driver, you can tip a few hours later or even the next day. So I uh, got a tip late at night. So that pushed it to $128. So that's good. Not bad. Pretty good. It was busy. It was a tiring day. Right now, um, I'm curious though. We're headed out here to the visitor center at Red Rock National Park. And uh, I'm curious because, so the way Uber works for those of you who don't know is um, it does not tell you where your rider is going to be going, but depending on uh, your your status with Uber as a driver, it does tell you the length of the trip in minutes. Uh, usually, you know, it'll say 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you're going to the airport or whatever from the west side of town. But this one is saying 63 minutes, so, and it's only 2.15 in the afternoon. Traffic shouldn't be that horrendous, so if they're just going to the strip, it wouldn't be 63 minutes. So uh, that got me curious. So let's find out. I'm gonna see where this 63 minute trip east could possibly be. I mean, that sounds like if it was legit, it would be like Hoover Dam or somewhere way out there. Maybe Lake Las Vegas. Um, not really sure, but that would be the longest trip that I've ever taken somebody on, 63 minutes. Maybe it's Las Vegas Speedway. At least in Las Vegas, it would be the longest. When I was doing Uber in California, um, I had some trips that were over two hours. All right, pulling up here. Cause I don't see anybody standing around here. Afternoon, doing an Uber pickup at the visitor center. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. All right, let's see what it's doing. 63 minutes, but maybe the uh, maybe the app is just exaggerating. Sometimes it's, it's beautiful out here. Sometimes the app exaggerates the uh, the amount of time. But I'll tell you what, I was on the 95 a while ago. Something happened in front of Rampart Casino, which is pretty close here, and I don't know what the deal was, but the entire street, it's kind of a big street, was completely closed in both directions, and people were getting on that 95 freeway if we're gonna have to get on that for this trip. And that was a cluster major cluster of traffic gridlock so if, and since we're going east there's a, we're either going on the 215 or we're going on the 95 and if we go on that 95 it's gonna be a mess it's gonna be a mess so okay i gotta look for these people i'm picking them up here in a minute stand by So, obviously, we're down here on the Las Vegas Strip, and um, yeah, that 63 minutes was pretty much what I thought. That was just an exaggeration by Uber, uh, estimating the drive with traffic and all. That only took us about, I want to say a half hour to get down here, so just drop them off, and what else? <coughs> I am, oh, I'm losing my voice, <clears throat> among other things. I'm about ready to be done. I'm gonna head back out of here, head back home. Um, I got some other stuff to do. I am tired. Um, only about uh, 80 bucks today on the old, uh, I think 80, 80-ish, 80 something like that. I don't know, it was kind of slow, but it's a Tuesday, what do you want? That's how it is on Tuesdays a lot of times, so. Oh man. It's nice, so it's 78 degrees out here right now on Las Vegas Boulevard. I'm just gonna hang a left here on Harmon. Harmon loops us onto the uh, onto uh, the other side, the back side of the strip, the west side of the strip that we can uh, head parallel until we uh, 
can jump off onto, I'm um, gonna jump out onto Sunset and take Sunset all the way back home because uh, I saw the 215, the afternoon traffic coupled with the nonsense uh, construction they got going on over there right now, which is all out of control. Uh, that thing is a nasty cluster, whatever you wanna call it. It's a mess, horrendous traffic. So it's not even moving. So we're just gonna take Sunset all the way home. Probably take me about 25 minutes or so, 30 minutes maybe, but that freeway's worse. No, no tram deal going. All right, well, yeah, I got the text message from my, uh, I need to go pay my cell phone. <laughs> Says, your cell phone payment you need to pay your cell phone today so yeah we go take care of that I think we should be good super bright That's the thing now with the time change and everything. It's getting dark at like 5.20 over here. 5.25, it's getting pretty dark by that time. The sun's already really low in the sky. I like it though. Sun comes up at like 5.15, 5.20. That is when the amateur is supposed to be driving Uber. And I haven't been getting up. I've been starting at like 6.15, 6. .15, well, I started at 5.50 today. That's okay, but I, I should be starting at 5.30 because that would be ideal. Man, what's going on up here? It's just construction, construction everywhere. Ugh, man. Dean Martin, that's what I'm thinking of. Dean Martin. That's our, one of our little back roads here to get us out of the cluster. Right, let's go. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, but the other side of that freeway, I can't look in the camera while I'm driving, but not the side going the same direction as me, but the other side, man, that thing's a parking lot. That's nasty over there. Oh yeah, then we hang our little uh, shortcut right here on Tompkins. Ah. Hang this right. I got another dash cam coverage video coming out soon. I gotta, I gotta edit it, I gotta put it together, but I know I got a lot of nonsense. A lot of Vegas drivers and or tourists included, but I got a, <laughs> it's a lot of, uh, a lot of crazy nonsense, I think. I haven't looked at it yet, but I just know from uh, all the clips I've clicked the save button on, when I see something dumb or crazy or interesting, I've hit the button. So it should be a decent amount of good stuff on there. I just need to put a video together and put it out. Should be doing that pretty soon. Also, something I'm, I'm, I haven't said anything about yet, but I don't know when, I don't know how soon, because I need to get a video capture card ideally, but I wanna do a video series called Back in the Day with the Amateur, and I have some crazy uh oh, let me see if I can get this light here. Uh oh. Oh. Barely made it. Um, <laughs> I have some crazy uh, footage from way back in the day. Uh, you know, like 50, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Of Because uh, even before cell phone cameras, literally, cell phone cameras, not cell phone video, but even before cell phone cameras, 
I was running around with one of these old school camcorders and I was always taking video. I was just always the guy. I was a geek in the group that was always shooting video. And thank God, man, because I am the only one that have that has all that classic, classic footage from way back in the day, talking all the way back to when I was like a teenager and in my 20s, taking road trips out here to Vegas to get out of control and party with my buddies and just get into all kinds of trouble and nonsense. I was the guy, and sometimes I got in trouble for that. Sometimes my friends got in trouble for that, for taking videos. But I have boxes and container loads of old videos. A lot of them on VHS, some of them on, um, if you got older guys, the, the high eight, eight millimeter video camera cassettes. Um, and I still have the video cameras and I have an old uh, VCR that's in good working condition. And I know those things can go bad after several years. Some of them are probably already bad, but I tested a couple of them out like a year or two ago and they still work. So there's some funny stuff. I just, but I'm gonna do it probably sometime in the early uh, next year when I have a little bit additional free time. But um, I'll be able to put some really, really funny stuff together. I have to check with some of my buddies on some of this. Look at this guy. Because um, <laughs> some, some of them are married now and they might not want some of that video released, right? So we'll see. But I know there's still a lot of stuff. There's some funny stuff. Also, I got a lot of pictures and video um, from a couple of times when I was full-time running my own business. And even around the business, man, we had so much fun that I would bust out the video camera once in a while and shoot video, take pictures, lots of pictures of the business. You guys are gonna be, you're, you're gonna, you're being shocked when you see, uh, you know, see like the warehouse and the products and just, um, we had some pretty good uh, pretty decent rolling businesses uh, that went for a few years each of them and they were a ton of fun But we were young uh, we were Amateur business entrepreneurs back then as well So we didn't do everything perfectly uh, the way we should have we spent a lot of the money uh, We had to spend a lot of the money because rent and everything else was expensive in California We had a warehouse warehouse rent was not cheap um, So yeah, you know we Burn through all the money that the business made every year, and even though we did pretty good, we did we did decent. But um, anyway, the point is, I'm going to make a series called "Back in the Day with the Amateur." It's going to have a lot of that super old time video footage from either my businesses or some uh, nonsense road trips that we went on all over the place. So that's it for this one here today. This is just a daily update video, just out here. In this grind now right now I'm on Tropicana but I want to get off of this street I want to get over to sunset way less traffic way less traffic lights I'm still in the mess right now but thanks for watching guys I'll see you again soon